Nintendo's Amiibo figures look great as they are, but customizing is a way of making them even more special. I'm TJ, and it's my mission to make the map that removes the mystery from Amiibo to help you chart the course to conquer your favorite custom challenges and achieve the unique and personalized Amiibo you always wanted. Let me make the mistake so you don't have to. Adventure time! I'm bored already! That's me, TJ, and Dark TJ. They'll be popping up from time to time to offer some tips, tricks, and helpful hints. Don't listen to anything this guy has to say. He has no idea what he's doing. Or not so helpful. It's dangerous to go alone, so come with us and we'll conquer this custom together. Welcome to Custom Conquest. Hey everybody, glad you made it back. This time on Custom Conquest, we're gonna be working out a fan favorite, Waluigi! Yay, Wario finally gets his doubles partner! About time, Smash Brothers suffers from a severe shortage of mischief makers. Now, Waluigi does appear in Smash Brothers as an assist trophy, but this poor guy can't get any love. He's always a bridesmaid, never a bride. But we're gonna change that today. Now, Nintendo might not have included Waluigi as a playable character, but what they did do is give us an incredible gift in the form of these Mii Fighters. These Mii Fighters can be created to resemble just about anything that you want, and to make it even better, they've armed us with a whole bunch of really cool costumes that we can use to make resemble characters that were not put into the game as proper characters. So what we're gonna do is create a Waluigi figure out of a Mii Brawler, and we're gonna do the best we can to make sure that the figure resembles the character's in-game appearance. Let's get to it. If you can manage putting a Waluigi together using this attack plan, consider yourself a custom warrior. There's no sculpting involved, just a little bit of patching and some minor repainting. Nothing too tricky. According to the Custom Conquest difficulty scale, that makes Waluigi a 2. Let's take a look at the components. This is gonna cover the figures, pieces, and parts. I've decided the best way to get Waluigi into the game as a playable character is by utilizing the Mii Brawler Amiibo. He's got a couple sports-related moves, like the bowling ball. And we all know the only time Waluigi even matters to Nintendo is when it comes to the sports titles. Plus, he's definitely not a gunner or a sword fighter, so it seems like a good fit. So we'll set all the Mii data to the NFC chip of the Brawler, and he'll be the foundation that we build on. We're also gonna need a Jack Pacific 2.5 inch World of Nintendo Waluigi figure. The scale is a pretty good match for the Amiibo, and with a few modifications, I think it's gonna work really well right here. And finally, we're gonna need a thin rubber band. We'll talk more about that later. Now for the tools and supplies. For those of you who saw the first episode, this is gonna look really similar. We're gonna need some round nose pliers for pulling and prying, an X-Acto knife for cutting them down to size, we need some sculpting putty. You're definitely also gonna need some super glue. You're gonna need some sandpaper. And finally, we're gonna wanna have some paints and brushes on hand. As before, I used the Vallejo model color paints. Okay, we're gonna start with our Mii Brawler base. Let's take a closer look and see what we're gonna need to do from the top to the bottom. We're obviously gonna replace the head of the Mii Fighter with the Jax Pacific 2.5 inch Waluigi head. And while we probably could use the body of the Mii Fighter and the arms, I like the proportions better of the Jax figure. We could leave Waluigi's gloves as they are. I like that it has his upside down L on there, but the gloves on the Mii Brawler are exaggeratedly oversized to emphasize his hand-to-hand -hand style. So I think it might serve as a strong accent for a Waluigi as he's engaging in some dastardly fisticuffs. To help integrate them a little bit, I'll probably flare out the sleeves much in the same style as his pants. Since the Waluigi figure is in overalls, we're gonna have to sand him down to remove that so that it matches more the Mii Brawler. Waluigi's not wearing a belt, and it would be very difficult to try to use the one that's currently on the Mii Brawler since it is attached to the torso and it is a fairly rigid piece of plastic. I'd prefer to work with something a little bit more adjustable and flexible, so here's where our rubber band is gonna come into play. We can snip it to shape, stretch it where we want it to be, and glue it together. Then we'll cover up the seam with the buckle. When Waluigi's in the game, he is going to have a Mii buckle on his belt. We could just shave off this buckle and glue it right to our rubber band and that would not be a problem, but I think for the figure I'd prefer to have the upside down L. Waluigi's long, lanky legs are kind of a defining feature, so I'll stick with the World of Nintendo figure here. On the footwear front though, instead of those funny little elf shoes that Waluigi favors, in the game he is going to be wearing the boots of the Mii Brawler. So that means these boots are pretty much a perfect representation of how they will appear in game. And while I do have the strong temptation to make them purple to coordinate with his shirt a little bit better, I'll leave them red so that the figure more closely resembles how he's gonna look once he's scanned in. Since we're using these feet and they have a nice wide base, we don't even really need to remove them from the base. We can just separate the Mii Brawler at the point where his legs meet the boot and we'll trim Waluigi's trousers and fit him right in. So to recap all we're really using of the Mii Brawler is his gloves, boots, and base. Let's give Waluigi something more important to do than play tennis for a change. 
All right, here we go. Now the first thing we need to do is soften up this meat brawler a little bit, so we're gonna toss him into our heat. I'm gonna use the boiling water method. Once we get him out, he's gonna be a lot more pliable. As you're pulling him apart, keep in mind, for this particular project, all we really need are his hands, boots, and base. So I don't have to do all that much separation. Because I'm gonna be using some boning, similar to what we did in the last episode, I would recommend just cutting. Get a nice, smooth cut right at the edge of the boot and right at the gloves. A little bit of time in the boiling water and Waluigi's gonna come apart really easily. He has poseable joints and they're gonna pop out no problem. I measured his legs out against the boots to determine where I wanted to cut and it became pretty clear that I was gonna have to do something about one of the legs. I like the position of the back leg, so the front leg I'm gonna remove completely at the hip. Then I'll line up the base of the leg with the boot. I'm gonna poke some holes in the boots with a thumbtack, stick a couple trimmed down paper clips in there. So I'll stick my legs in there so I got a nice snug fit, make sure that the look is how I want it to be. When I'm satisfied with it, I'll lock it down with some super glue. Then I'm gonna use a thumbtack to poke a hole where his hip socket would be and the other one where I made the cut at the top of the leg. I'm gonna move those two together and bend them into the shape that I want them to be. I use my milliput to fill in the gap of his hip. Milliput is an air dry epoxy so it will set all on its own. I'll sand it down and it'll be like he was never cut in the first place. Our Waluigi me doesn't have any suspenders so I'm gonna sand that down with some sandpaper. Since I want to use these me hands, I want to flare out these sleeves so that they transition a little bit better into the base of the gloves. I'll super glue the hands keeping in mind the rotation of the fist and then I'll use some milliput to build up on the sleeve. Little hardening, little sanding. To get his arms and head back on, I am going to trim the ends a little bit so that they're easier to slip back in. If you want, you can maintain the articulation of his arms and head, and that's really not a problem. Or slap some super glue in his armpits and it'll be just as poseable as all the other amiibo. For his belt, I'm just going to snip a thin rubber band. After I figure out what I need the length to be, I'll put a little dab of super glue to hold it together. I don't want to stretch it more than I need to because I don't want to put any unnecessary tension on the rubber band. I could take a little piece of plastic or a little piece of cardboard or an extra square off the rubber band and use it as a buckle in the center to cover up my seam. And moving on. I'm not going to touch the boots or the gloves with the exception of maybe retouching the edges a little bit with some black trim. For a shirt, of course, I want to make it purple. Rather than try to match the purple of his hat, I'm just going to paint over his hat with the same color that I use on his shirt. Thin your paints! But I'm going to change the color of his pants to kind of a dark gray or a smoky black. Some of you with a stronger passion for painting than me might want to touch up his face a little bit, but I'm going to leave it alone. Now, after long last, we have our very own Waluigi Amiibo. In addition to making the custom physical amiibo, we also made our own version of Waluigi Me. If you want to copy our version, there's our QR code right there. I don't know about you, but it sure feels great to have Waluigi in the game. Now let's put him in the box. Customizing the figures aren't just about creating a super cool looking figure, but we also want to be able to have some artwork to match. I've gone ahead and made this little mock-up right here, and I also want to make it available to you. You'll find the link somewhere down there in the description. I also asked you guys last time to do your custom submissions, and several of you sent in some really great art, so let's check it out. If you want your artwork featured here on Custom Conquest, just tweet me at Custom Conquest with the hashtag MyCCAmiibo. Can't wait to see what you come up with. So now you know exactly what we did to be able to create the Waluigi Amiibo, now it's your turn. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Thanks for, for playing. playing. Dark side out. What's your favorite color? Mine's red. Okay, bye. <laughs>